sustain spirit. It takes miracle to sustain miracle. It was a miracle that got Elisha over the river, and he knew it's going to take a miracle to get me back over the river. You don't believe me? You ask God to bless you with a house or a car or whatever. And he can. He will. He can move on the realtor. He can move on the creditor. He, he can work it all out. And, and if you're not careful, you'll say, I got it now. I got it now. Yeah, until about 30 days later. And you start thinking, God, I know you gave me that first miracle. But now I need about 500 little miracles. If I'm going to keep living in this house that you initially blessed me with. Because the one that opened up the door to get you in the house is the one that can keep you in or can keep you out. When Apostle Paul said, heaven be done in the spirit, do you think you're going to be made perfect in the flesh? Can I preach old school for just a moment and tell you, having the gun in a prayer meeting, do you think you're going to get anywhere without one? some service that you think you're going to get to heaven without some have to go and fall on the floor and we think do you really think it ain't just going to take you to do what you first do you say oh, I'll always have that that always he'll always be there with me but I think some of the things that you count on the most are the very things that God is going to rip the rug out from underneath you with and say what are you going to do now Everybody's going to have an Elijah that you hold on to and is your security blanket and you can pop up on and if everybody else leaves me, Elijah said, Elijah, all, if I don't know what to do, Elijah will know what to do. If I ain't been praying good, I'll just count on mama. She'll be praying good. Yeah, I'll always have an Elijah. If I if I don't know what to do, I'll just ask Elijah, and he'll tell. He knows how to move the mantle, and, and he knows how to smite the wall. All I gotta do, the preacher will always do the praying. All I gotta do is just be close in the right place at the right time, and everything will work out. But there will come a day when God said, "We're gonna see what kind of faith you have." And he snatches his Elijah out of time into eternity. And here is left Elisha to answer the question. And he calls out and says, I got one thing I want to know. He said, I've been holding on for all this time. He said, but I just lost my Elijah. And so he asked the question. He said, I am not looking for the Elijah of God. I don't even want to know where he is. He said, but I have one question, Lord. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Listen to me here. 
what he said to his disciples in John 14 was simple. He said, something great is coming to the church. He said, I'm getting ready to bring greater works. Can you imagine? They said, we saw Lazarus come out the grave. We was with you when 10 men that were lepers got cleansed. We, we, we know you're, we're going to do greater work. Yes, greater works are coming. More of these happenings are going to begin to happen in you. Signs and wonders and miracles. And, 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 and it's a good thing I wasn't one of the disciples. Because the next thing Jesus said, I argued with him about it. Because, because I don't if you're going to leave, how in the world are we going to do what you've done without you? Right. Right. Come on. <laughs> but he had a little thing set up down the road called the day of Pentecost. And what they didn't understand was as long as you keep Emmanuel here, Jesus, God in the body, you can only have one Jesus at one place at one time. He said, as long as you keep me here, either I can go raise Lazarus from the dead, or I can go cleanse uh, uh, ten lepers over here, or I can go over here to the Jericho, and I can raise up blind God Emmaus and him. See, I can only be one Jesus at one place at one time, and we're going to be limited in that dimension. But he said, if you can just let me go, you watch what happens anytime time you let something go. He said, I'm coming back in 50 days in an upper room and a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. But I feel all the house where you're sitting and you'll all be filled with the Holy Ghost. And now not one Jesus in your place. But he said, I'm going to get inside of everybody. Do you understand when you get the Holy Ghost? You got Jesus on the heel. Whenever you give something up for God, He don't just give you a replacement. He said, I give you something greater than what you gave up. He said, you give it up. I mean, God doesn't always just take bad things. He's taking Elijah. He's taking Christ. He said, but when you give it to me this way, He said, I'm bringing it back to you in a better way. If you'll just be willing to give it up. I'll be willing to give it back, multiply. Amen. My God, have mercy. 